Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. Hi there, this is problem set four. We're looking at logarithmic equations and solving them. What we're going to do is uh, look at some examples here about how to treat the log expression almost as if it's a variable itself and use some uh, rules of algebra to solve for the equation. So let's take a look. All right, these are the four problems I'm going to have you try, but let's go ahead and focus in on number 17. I'll work through this one with you. Now, the key here is kind of analyze what we've got. It says 3 plus log base 11 of that expression, negative 7x, equals 2. All right, what I'd like you to consider is focusing on that log expression almost as if it's a variable. So think of it as 3 plus some variable equals 2. All right, we'll deal with the logarithm part of that in a moment. But how would you solve that kind of algebra equation? Yep, that's right. You would want to get the variable part, this green box, by itself. So let's go ahead and subtract 3 from each side. And obviously we did that so we get 0 there. And so now we have log base 11 of negative 7x. And sometimes you'll see that in parentheses just to kind of keep it all together. Equals negative 1. Now what does that mean? Well, it means that 11 is the base to the negative 1 power. Remember the logarithm is always the exponent. So 11 to the negative 1 power is that value right there. Okay, we're just writing a logarithmic function into an exponential function. Kind of like the definition of a logarithm. All right. So now, of course, 11 to the negative 1 power is 1 over 11. Let's write it over here. 1 over 11 equals negative 7x. We're solving for x, so we are going to subtract, or excuse me, divide that side by negative 7 and divide this side by negative 7. Now, what that really means is next to the 11 in the denominator, we are going to put that factor of negative 7. Now that's a little hard to read, sorry about that. But these negative 7s are going to cancel out. x is going to be 1 over 11 times negative 7, or negative 1 over 77. Okay, so believe it or not, that is the value of x in that equation right there. All right, now I'm going to give you a moment to look at 18, 19, and 20. You try those on your own, grab a piece of paper, and remember what you know about logarithms. Think of that expression as a variable and kind of work from there. Go ahead. Hopefully you've had some time to work on these, and let's take a look here at number 18. So negative 5 plus this thing here equals negative 2. How would you solve that in algebra? Yep, you're going to add 5 to each side. Okay. And so now we have this log expression. I'll just go ahead and copy it down over here. Log base 8 of negative 8n. Put it in parentheses if you want. Equals 3. All right, now taking this logarithmic expression and rewriting it into exponential means 8 is your base, so 8 to the third power, the logarithm is always the exponent, equals that value right there, negative 8n. Now I could multiply 8 times 8 times 8, but I notice I have a factor of negative 8 here that I'm going to be dividing out anyway. So I'm just going to leave it in factored out expanded form here and watch how easy this gets. Now these, um, this eight, one of these 8's on the top cancels out with the 8 on the bottom. And so now that's going to give us, whoops, cancel there. And that's going to give us negative 64, which we had to begin with. Okay, again, a little messy, sorry about that. 
Let's look at number 19, and I'm going to assume you've given that a try. Um, we are going to take 8 times that log expression equals 8. Well, let's divide both parts here by 8. Okay, that should be pretty easy there. We have log base 5 of b minus 9 equals 1, a positive 1 from the 8 divided by 8. Okay, well, let's write it in exponential form. So that's your base, 5. That's your exponent right there, 5 to the first equals b minus 9. And I'm pretty sure you can do the rest in your head here. We're going to add 9 to both sides. 9 plus 5 is 14. All right, I hope you were able to follow that. Now, number 20, you're going to take negative 9 times that log expression equals negative 27. Yep, let's divide each side by a negative 9, okay, which will cancel those. And then I have over here a negative 27 divided by a negative 9. Don't forget your um, negative sign there. So I'm going to have log base 3 of r minus 7 equals positive 3. Write it exponentially as an exponential expression or function. So there's your base, there's your exponent, 3 to the third power. Let me write it over here. 3 to the third power equals <clears throat> that expression r minus 7. Well, 3 to the third power is 3 times 3 times 3, so it would be 27. 27 equals r minus 7. Yep, that's right. We're going to add 7 to each side, and there we go. 34 is my final answer for r. All right, so again, the tip here is treat that log expression, at least at first, as a variable. And you use some rules of algebra to kind of isolate that, and then you can write it in exponential form to solve. All right, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any questions, send them to me. Comment, share, whatever you need to do. But I appreciate you watching. Thanks. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.